How's it going everyone? I'm Slavin Atorsky and welcome to the channel. For the new viewers, welcome. If you enjoy the content, please consider subbing. I have new videos dropping all the time. For my returning viewers, thank you for taking the time out of your day to check out my content. And for your continued support, I hope you enjoy it going forward. Alright, so today we have something a little bit special. Is Somebody reached out to me and asked me if I would consider reviewing one of their holsters that they make. So I figured, yeah, why not? I've actually never had anyone reach out to me for that before, so I figured... Yeah, sure, first time. And uh, they've honestly been commenting on a lot of the videos. They're a uh, viewer for a while now. A uh, nice person, but it is Robert over at the Armsman. So what we have in here is uh, one of the holsters. This is for the Springfield Hellcat. And uh, it's got a few custom things on there for me. But uh, yeah, I thought this was really nice. I've, been, I've had it for just about two months now. I've been carrying it here and there, out when I'm jogging, things like that, just to get a full feel for it, to really see what I think about it. I mean, I'm no expert or anything crazy like that, but just as your average person, yeah, I figured, let's give a uh, average person's opinion here on this. All right, so uh, we're going to go ahead and cut for a second, and we'll be right back, and we'll get into the bag. In learning more about the channel, feel free to follow me on my Instagram, and Facebook, social medias. Uh, here you can find more about what's going on in my personal life as well as behind the scenes of the channel. And if you are interested in the gaming content, I do stream to Twitch before I upload any of the gaming content to YouTube. And if you wanted to follow me on Twitter, any contests I enter, I put my friends' links in there so we can both get some bonus entries off of that. Alright, so here we go. It comes in this nice black bag. Of course, on the other side is shipping information. I uh, don't want to show that online. It's, it's just a death sentence if you ask me. All right, so this is the bag that you get. It's from the Armsman. Quality concealment, over 35 models, 70 colors, inside waistband, outside waistband, appendix, holster, mag carrier combo, CNC vacuum form. Uh, this is really cool. Here they have the thing down the bottom. We are not just Kydex benders. We are of God's will, we are pro-Constitution, we are pro-Second Amendment, we are the armsmen. This is really cool, I like the marketing we have here. But they also included a letter here for me as well. So I'll go ahead and read that off. So it's hello Slavin <laughs> I can't even say my own name today, sorry, it's still early. Hello Slavin Torsky. first, thank you for taking the time to review my holster. In your package is a black carbon fiber holster with red metal finish washers designed for the Hellcat. I added an optic cut in case you decided to install an optic. <clears throat> Hopefully the quality and function meet your satisfaction as it is of our utmost importance. I stand by my products, so if there's any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to reach out. I believe that you stated you don't carry appendix position, so I did not include the wing with it. I also canted the clip for the 3 to 5 o'clock position. If you need any info or wish to discuss anything, let me know. I really enjoy your content. Very detailed reviews and always some positive advice. You definitely deserve a lot more subscribers and stay safe. Thanks again, Robert. I appreciate that, Robert. That's really nice of you. It's a really nice letter. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna hop in here and check out your holster and show exactly what I'm thinking here. But let's take a look here what's inside the bag because this is what everybody really wants to know. So that is everything. Let's double check. There's nothing else left in there empty bag all right so really cool stuff that you get when you order something here first off you get the holster itself I really love these red accents on here these look really good looks great with the carbon fiber metal clips but we'll get into that shortly here we have some swag for the armsman you do have some thread mate thread locker so you have a little bit extra there in case you need it that's always good uh, you do have their card with their different holster features and information so it's kind of a nice and i thought this was really cool a pocket constitution of the united states this is really really neat i've actually never seen one of these before i'm sure they're all over the place but i just thought this was really cool kind of a neat thing to include with the packaging especially with the content material and of course you do have their information here 
It would help if I got that to where you guys could actually see it. So if you are interested in the Armsman, this is their information here, their website, thearmsman.com. Phone number, email in case you want to get a hold of them. Really, really cool stuff here. And you do have it, so it's easier to read in the black here as well. So that's everything that we have in there for that. So let's take a closer look here. You can see where the optics cut is on this. Nice blade here. I can tell you, you want this sticking up here. It keeps the actual Hellcat from biting into you when you're running around. I am not the thinnest person, so I do have an issue where, because I carry three o'clock, which is inside the waistband, so it'll be on this side of me, to where with my beautiful love handles, I'll actually have these things bite into me. This one I have not run into that issue, but it has formed very well. Now, one thing I will say, here's my Hellcat. As you can see, it is unloaded. I went ahead and made sure of all that before, but we'll put the safety on just to make everyone happy. Fits right in. It is not falling. I'm doing like the Dairy Queen people right now. You see that your blizzard's not spilling out, right? <laughs> but uh, this is formed perfectly with it. The retention is amazing. Like, uh, it's actually difficult to remove this from the holster by hand like this. But when it is actually on your belt, that's not an issue. It comes out super, super easy. But you want that kind of retention because you don't want to be, let's say, you're at the bathroom, right? You're going to Publix or whatever, or you know, I'm dating that I'm in Florida for saying Publix. You go anywhere, public restroom, you go and you drop your drawers, you get ready to use the bathroom, and what goes clittering across the floor? Skittering, not clittering, my God. <laughs> what goes skittering across, across the floor? Your concealed carry, and it just flies into the whole, the stall next to you, everyone freaks out, it's a whole big thing, they call the cops, you know, you, don't, you want to avoid that. So, this super nice retention, these clips here, they are metal. You'll see how they have the second clip on the inside to hook onto your belt and hold it nice and secure inside the waistband. So even when you drop your drawers, <laughs> this isn't gonna go flying across the room. Same when it comes to actually jogging with this. If you're outside jogging with it, you want some track pants or maybe some jogging shorts, something like that whatever you call them, ball shorts. Everybody has different names for them. I'm kind of old school when it comes to my brain. It doesn't like to age. Well, yeah, no, it's just old brain, dead brain. But uh, this, you do want it to stay secure. So this works pretty well when it comes to any sort of track pants and things like that too. It doesn't really fly out, it stays in one place. I'm pretty happy with that so far. And I apologize about the dog barking in the background. All right, I gave the puppy a treat. She should be quiet for a few more minutes. So, uh, I wanted to weigh this to show you just how much you're gonna be adding to your rig if you're going to be using this holster. I'll tell you right now, it weighs almost nothing. You probably know that already, but I like to weigh things on the channel because I'm constantly weighing myself because I'm a fatty. But here's the holster by itself. You're looking at 2.6 ounces. So then you have the Hellcat. I'm not putting any rounds in it. 15.9 ounces. And when you push them together, they turn into a giant robot. Now, one, one pound, 2.6 ounces together. So you're not really adding much weight at all to your setup if you're carrying this. So that's good to know with this. It's a super light holster, not like some of the leather ones that I usually use, which are kind of heavy and kind of cumbersome. This one, it's a very minimalist holster. It, as you can see, there's very little overflow from the actual shape of the Hellcat. 
which is perfect for this. I really, really do like just how minimal it is. You kind of forget it's here. I took a trip down to Shark Coast Tactical in Sarasota. That's about a two hour drive for me. And honestly, cause you know, you're sitting in the chair or you're sitting in, I have bucket seats in my car. So you're sitting in those seats driving. And as you know, after a while, this part, if you're carrying three o'clock, is going to start digging into your side, especially if you have love handles. And this did not do that to me. I actually kind of forgot it was there. Barely noticed it when I stood up out of the car. It didn't pinch or anything like that. So that was definitely a nice feature. <laughs> it doesn't cause you pain, unlike a lot of the other ones do. Welcome to my lovely office here. As you can see, it's a giant mess. I've been rearranging things, redoing the whole office. And I'm looking to the right because I'm recording on here and I can actually look at the LCD screen so you can see what's going on. But uh, yeah, so please forgive the giant mess in the background. My office has kind of turned into storage even more than it was before. But I did want to go over some more. This holster here. Let's go ahead and pull that out of it. So you'll see here, these really nice clips that are secure. They are metal. Where's my magnet? Yeah, sorry. You see here, the magnet does stick to it. They are metal. They're very durable, but they have a nice flex on them. Now, if you look under here, you'll see where you have that second hook that bends down that catches your belt. Let me go ahead and focus that. So that part is very secure. So what I'm gonna do is, I promise, this is not the start of my OnlyFans content. I am going to show you how the holster goes onto the belt. So, don't get too excited, all right? All right, so here we have the holster. Here we have my fat ass right here. So, what's going on? I'm gonna go ahead and show you how that clips in. It's very simple, just like any other holster you've seen. Please excuse my fatness, I am working on that. This is going to clip on the inside of your pants. I did wear an undershirt so as to not offend everyone's senses. Goes over just like that. You hear that nice secure clip? It just went to the bottom of the belt here. Once it's secure, shirt over, nothing. See the side, see that side. You can't even tell. But it's right here. Easy to draw, easy to come in. No, I did not have this loaded for the purposes of the video. I just wanted to show. But nice and secure. Very, very concealed. You can't see it at all. All right, for this portion of the video, I wanted to actually take a look at the Armsman's website. This is thearmsman.com. That's the arms with a Z, not an S, men.com. So here we actually have the website. I like the layout of it. Very simple and easy to read and easy to see everything. Here you can see. AIWB, IWB, Mag Combo, a couple different options here, some video testimonials from people. I like how well built this site is. And you do have the links for them as well, their Gmail, phone number, Instagram, and location where they're at, a fellow Floridian. So we go back up here, let's go to shop. And I am working off the Wi-Fi at the house, so things are a little slower. All right, so you do have different options for the shopping. A, I, W, B, I, W, B, Carrier, Mag Combo. So here you have the appendix inside the waistband. So all the different options that come up here. We have stuff for Glock 26, 27, G48, 43, 43X. 43, 43X, G48, P365, and that goes all the way through SAS and XL. A couple different options there. For the Breda APX, I know that if you follow the Armsmen on Instagram, they actually are dropping new holsters all the time. They just had a couple more come out. I know that he was working on one for the new GX4 for the Taurus. That might be up here already. But you see you get some Styers, some Walthers, more Berettas. You do have options with lights, like here's an APX with an O-Light. And these are all for appendix carry. Some Canics. 
which I need to get some Canucks actually on the channel to review. I think that would be nice. I've had a few people request it. I just haven't managed to get around to pick a one up yet, but I will rectify that soon enough. So now we're going for inside the waistband. You'll see there's a bunch of options for these here. Red APX, bunch for the APX. You got uh, some more Canucks here, some Glocks, several pages. Let's go to page five and see what we can find. Lots of options here. So all the way out to there. But you can also search by a model. So let's put in Hellcat. We'll see if we can find the model I have. You see everything comes up here. So this is a Springfield Hellcat with Olight PL Mini 2. More of them for the Hellcats. Here is my model. Here we go. We have all the different photographs of it. I love the uh, photography here it as well. So you'll see the different options. So here is the foamy quick clip. Alright, sorry, had an issue where the recording just cut out, so I'm going to pick up where I left off. So back here we have the foamy quick clip. Here's the foamy steel clip. The DCC monoblock clip. Mod wing, and from the side, dark wing, and from the side. You also have several options here for the models. You can choose from all of these models that are currently in the system. As you see, there's quite a few. Quite a, quite a few. Definitely not going to read these all off, but a little bit of everything. As far as colors, there's anything for black, Battleship Gray, 3D Spectre 13, sounds cool. FDE Carbon Fiber, all sorts of stuff there. You can choose the wings, the different clips that you would like, if you want to cut for an optic or not. All different options that you can use here. Here we have the descriptions of everything. The high sweat guard is very important, I feel. Because I know I sweat like crazy down here in Florida. This keeps you from ruining your finish much sooner than you would think. As far as the Kydex in carbon fiber colors, here's the actual color index, which I think this is really cool. Not that many websites do this with actual photos, but this gives you an idea of what you're going to be getting into depending on what color you want. So you know what you would like. So here's all the Kydex ones. Here's carbon fiber. I like that carbon fiber black. Here's the color print platter <laughs> patterns. So all your different Cryptek colors, your Battleship Mountain Viper, Zombie Green Hex, really cool stuff there, and the basket we've covered, colors. So I like that these are actually here so you know exactly what type of texture you're going to get on it. Really cool stuff. And full descriptions, everything. It, I honestly suggest if you haven't had a chance to take a look into these, you can put in your email here and you'll actually sign up for the newsletter as well as following them on their Instagram and so on and so forth. That's another way to actually check it out. But uh, if you haven't had a chance to look at their site, take a look. I honestly think you'll be pleasantly surprised. I know I've really enjoyed this holster and after going through the website and looking at a few others, there's a lot of good options on here. You honestly will find something to your liking if you take a look in here. So check them out. That's at thearmsman.com, and that's arms with an Z, not an S, armsman.com. But check it out. I think you will like it. Overall, I can honestly say that I really do like this holster. I've been purposely carrying outside the waistband at 3 o'clock for the past couple of years, as most of the inside the waistband holsters I use, either they're way too big, they pinch me right here, they come around and just rub you the wrong way or you get a rash from whatever the texture is on them. I have not run into this issue with this holster in any way, shape or form. So I would honestly highly suggest it. This is going to be my go-to holster for my Hellcat now. It's uh, giving me a reason to carry it a bit more instead of just pocket carry. And I, I don't know, it's honestly really grown on me and it's making me believe in inside the waistband again instead of just outside the waistband. So, uh, cool stuff. I really enjoy this. Thank you, Robert, for sending this over for me to uh, review for you. Guys, if you are looking for good quality holsters that are not too much, not overbearing, not a bunch of extra material that's not needed, and are really, really well made, go ahead and check out the Armsman's website. I think you'll be very pleased with them. 
But uh, that's all I had for today. Um, again, I really enjoy this. This is becoming, this is actually part of my daily setup now. I'm used to it. It's going to just keep going. It's, uh, I don't know, I'm very pleasantly surprised. I really enjoyed this. I didn't think I'd like inside the waistband that much. But I have been with this one. So, yeah, good on you there. This is an awesome holster, and I think anyone else that would try them out will be pleasantly surprised as well. But uh, that is all I had for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You found it informational. I want to thank everyone that stopped by to watch the video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to toss your comments and thoughts down in the comments section. If you have any experience with the Armsman or you uh, have any other holsters, go ahead and toss some comments down there too. If you want to get a conversation going, maybe you guys have a couple other holsters to suggest for me that I haven't seen yet or that I haven't really looked into. It's always cool to talk about that. But uh, I hope everyone out there, stay safe. Keep your family safe. Don't give up on your goals. As usual, I'm working on my goals. I decided to go for the Comp TIA A plus certification and get that knocked out. So I've been uh, kind of, I want to say taking online courses, but I've just been watching online videos. There's a whole professor, uh, I forgot his name now, brain fart. Sorry guys, Professor Messer. I've been watching his videos to study up for that. So it's one of those things that even if you have a goal that you know is going to be a bit lofty, there's always things you can do, whether it's taking online videos, I bought a couple books to research it as well. Do what you have to do in your small amount of spare time that you have in order to keep moving towards your goals. Take some free time to yourself every now and then, but make sure to keep some time every week, I'd say at least once or twice a week, to keep focusing on your goals and pushing forward. You'll never get there unless you keep trying at it, but every little step you take is a step in the right direction. So keep at it, don't give up, and especially don't let anyone make you give up. Anyone that gives you hate or just kind of insults you, slams you, ah, you can never make it, you'll never do this, ignore them. They're just unhappy in their lives and they want you to be unhappy too. All right? Keep pushing forward, guys. Remember, keep active, stay strong. I'll talk to you guys again in the next video. And until then, take it easy. I'll see you later, guys.